Meanwhile in The Hague, the ICC is on a mission. The ICC is the International Criminal Court. The Hague is a city in the Netherlands. The court is opening new cases against Russia. Cases for war crimes in Ukraine. Is this a purely political move? Can this court really hold Russia accountable? Has it done so with any other country in the past? What are its powers? What is the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court? And does Russia have a reason to be worried? We'll tackle these questions one by one. Also, the ICC has shown such enthusiasm in investigating war crimes committed by countries in the West, you know, like the military invasion of Iraq, crimes committed by the US and the UK. They've bombed the life out of entire countries. What did the ICC do then? We'll discuss all of it, starting with Russia's case. Arrest warrants against Russian individuals will be issued soon. These are individuals suspected of committing war crimes in Ukraine. The ICC wants to put Russia in the dock for two major reasons. Number one, the abduction of Ukrainian children. And number two, the targeting of civilian infrastructure across Ukraine. Next question, what is the ICC? Like I said, the International Criminal Court, it investigates and prosecutes war criminals, or so we are told. It focuses on four types of crime, genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crimes of aggression. The ICC draws its power from the Rome Statute of 1998. It's a treaty that created this court. 123 countries recognize the ICC and accept its jurisdiction. 40 countries do not. And this list includes countries like China, India, Turkey, Saudi Arabia and others. So what kind of power does the ICC have? Like I said, it can investigate and prosecute war criminals, but there are two conditions. First, the country where the offence was committed must recognise the court's jurisdiction. And second, the country where the criminal comes from, the supposed criminal, must also recognise the court's jurisdiction. And that's where this gets murky. Because Russia considers the ICC as an illegitimate entity. It says this court is a tool of Western colonialism. Ukraine, on the other hand, sees the ICC as an institution that can punish Russia. Ukraine recognizes this court's jurisdiction. Russia does not. And so it's very unlikely that Russia or Russians will be punished. Because the ICC will not try supposed criminals in absentia. They have to be present in the court for the trial. And Russia is never going to allow that. It won't give up its citizens to the ICC for this trial. So this trial is DOA, dead on arrival. Maybe just a political statement then. And by the way, there's another country that the ICC does not have jurisdiction over, even though it played a crucial role in drafting the treaty that created this court. That country is the United States. It does not recognize the International Criminal Court. And not, not without good reason. The US has invaded countries left, right and center. It wages one war after another. That's what keeps its military industrial complex running. More wars need more weapons and America makes more money. That's how it works. Why does the US not recognize this court? A guilty conscience perhaps. And a long list of war crimes. In fact, the US is not even willing to provide intelligence to this international criminal court. Intelligence that could incriminate Russia, the US will not give it. Why? The Pentagon says it would set a precedent and pave the way for American soldiers to be held accountable. It's another shining example of American hypocrisy for you. And it's not like the International Criminal Court is a beacon of justice. If it were, war crimes committed in a host of other countries would have also been investigated. War criminals from around the world would have been prosecuted. And there is no shortage of wars for this court to probe. Let me name a few. The Iraq War, the Afghanistan War, the carpet bombing of former Yugoslavia, the interventions in Somalia, and I haven't even begun scratching the surface yet. What has the ICC done to investigate war crimes in all of these cases? We tried to find out. And all we found was one isolated investigation that relates to Afghanistan. That probe too is stalled. What about the other wars? It's like they never happened. As of March last year, the ICC had indicted 40 people, 4-0. All of them belong to Africa. And this is not to say that there are no war crimes being committed in Ukraine. There are. Investigate them by all means, but don't target one country and give a free pass to the others. 
The law may be blind, the world is not.